What's good? We back. It's TBC and Mario. I know we do morning boxing. Appreciate everybody for subscribing, listening, and, um, you know, off topic, off sports video. You know, we do politics and real, real talk. And I got another good off, uh, t off sports video coming. Uh, probably drop it, uh, tonight or in Monday morning because it's a big boxing day tomorrow. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of boxing talk, big, uh, fights kicking off. But we're talking about black customer service here and how piss poor it is in the inner cities. Um, I must say, when I went to New York, the customer service was amazing. Um, there was a lot of black people in Times Square, you know, where I mainly went and ate. Um, you know, and it was, customer service was pretty, pretty good because there you got to be on point. It's a lot of tourists. It's a lot of people. And you got to get them in and out. So I, I will, you know, give a shout out. I want to say all, every place, every inner city the same. Can't put them all under one tent. But for the most part, man, most places that I've been to, it seems that, um, you know, you go to, you know, you know, places of fast food establishments, or you might go to the check and go, you know, the Myers, the Kroger's, the Winn Dixie's, the, you know, Walmart's of the world. And it seems to be that um, when you encounter, let's say, you know, black people that's working there, or it's a large black population in your city, it's black people working at Popeye's or something of that nature, um, you know, it's tough to get good service and it's tough to get accurate service. And I'm not trying to down black people because I'm obviously black, but. Um, and I understand what it is to work for minimum wage and you don't care about your job. But at, at, at some point, um, you have to have self pride, you know, because people look at you a certain way, you know, they see you can't handle yourself at your job and they're like, man, you know what, you know, he don't have no, no integrity, you know, and if you can't respect yourself on the job and, and show that you can do a job, you know, how, how are you going to get blessed with a better opportunity? opportunity and you know when you're young you you think of that you know man they ain't paying me enough you know i'm gonna half fast this but you know god or whatever higher power that people believe in or karma or stuff of that nature or you believe in how the universe flows or how it works you know once you're able to take care of something where you're able to show the ability that you can do the job well and you can be a good employee or a good you know asset to the company trust me the way the world works whatever you believe in you will be blessed with a better opportunity, you know. You'll be able to get a better opportunity. But when you go to these places, man, they can't get your order right. And they look at you, you come back and give you the attitude. They give you, um, you know, attitude, you know, attitude. Like, you're the issue, you're the problem, you're the reason they're working there. Or you're the reason you're having a bad day. And I understand, you know, people have bad days. But when you go in places in your area or your neighborhood and you consistently go there and they consistently got an attitude. They consistently on the phone. They consistently giving you bad service. That's just not a blimp. That's a trend. That's something that you deal with all the time. And, um, you know, it's just time. It's time for, it's time for, for that to change. You know what I'm saying? Because the perception is if you go to the suburbs and most metropolitan urban areas, you're going to get better food and better service or, you know, just better service. And that's true. You go to a little Caesars or McDonald's in the city and you might have to wait 20 minutes for your meal, you know, and your food, you know, don't look like or taste like it would look like it was in the commercial. But you go out in the suburbs and go to a little Caesar's, go to McDonald's. Your food tastes a lot better. The service is a lot better. The the restaurant is a lot cleaner. It's more comfortable. It makes you want to sit down and eat. Even though you haven't sat down and ate at McDonald's in 20, 30 years, it makes you feel comfortable and it's clean. But you go in the inner city and you see you know, the snow's not shoveled outside, it's nasty, the table's not being wiped off, the manager looked like he's not a manager, it looked like he had the same uniform on for 10 days, like he living above the grease bucket down there, and how you deal with the manager, how they present themselves when it's an issue, when you escalate your issue to management, and they all, you know, they act just like the employees, like you the, like you the issue or don't want to help, you know, it's just time for that, 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 that to change, man, it really is. You know, it's time to change that notion or that stigma or, or that perception that when you go to the inner city and you deal with mo majority of black people at an establishment, that is going to be BS. You know, and it is some good establishments um, out there that, that's black owned and black run that is good. But that's one of the reasons why the kind of transfer kind of uh, get off topic for a minute. A lot of black people don't want to support black businesses because, you know, it's a saying that they say about black businesses. They open late and they close early. You know, when you get in there, it's no consistency, um, especially you talk about barber shops. You know what I'm saying? You have to hunt your barber down in the hood. You got to find him. You got to go to the most dangerous neighborhoods. Oh, he say he going to be here from 
you know, 10 to 6 o'clock. You get there at, at 5.30. He already, oh, I'm not, I'm on my last, I'm not doing this no more. I know what I'm out. I got something to do. You be sitting there for hours and they eating a snack and they, and they conversating and they ain't cutting your hair. I mean, it's just time to change that as a, as a black community and as an inner city community. You know, it's time to change. And you, I'm, I'm telling you, you already know when you get the vibe when you walk into a Popeye's or a check and go or wherever you at in the inner city when you see is you know, you know, uh, urban black population that's working there, you already know it's about to be some BS most of the time. And when it's not, you're, you know, you're happily shocked. But, you know, it's just, you know, something, you know, you get tired of, man. And it's just basic, you know, it's basic orders. You know, you go to the restaurant, you say, I want, you know, I want a two piece and throw an extra biscuit in there. You know what? And I want honey mustard. You open your bag, you get home, you don't have your extra biscuit in there. Your chicken fry real hard. And, and whatever the, the point may be, oh, your honey mustard ain't there, they gave you barbecue because they didn't care. People get tired of that, man. you tired of going to Walmart and, you know, you know, you ask somebody, oh, you know what, where's your DVDs at? And they give you attitude and act like you an issue, you causing them a problem. And it's just time to change that. It's time for, time for people to take pride in their job. And don't be mad. If you don't want to work, don't worry. But these the same people asking these companies for raises, but you're not holding your end of the bargain and showing and proving that you need a raise, even though some of these companies pull in billions of profit, millions of profits a year, and they could realistically play you t- probably three times of what you're really working and still turn over an excellent profit. But at the end of the day, you got to handle your business. You got to have some type of self-pride, not company pride. And if you hate the company, I feel you. I work some companies that I absolutely hate it. But at the end of the day, I like to represent myself. And you never know what the next opportunity could bless you with. You could be talking to somebody or serving somebody or helping somebody. They got a better opportunity. Like, oh, you know, I like the way you, you know, you, you held it down or you worked at. You know what? I can get an interview where I'm working at, where I know a place that's hiring the better opportunity. So it's just something that, that was on my mind. We on to the next TBC. We gone.